genius for life. Coconut smoothies coming at you. Hello there. Welcome to episode 49 of 15 Minutes of Genius. Uh, we bring on a lot of geniuses to the show, people that are in the CPG space, people that help you raise money, investors, advisors, pretty much everyone under the sun that wants to help other entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs themselves that are in the thick of it. So really excited. I have an awesome, awesome guest on today. Um, really good friend of mine, lives right in San Diego, not too far from me. And uh, But before rolling into our guest, I want to give a big plug to Mark Nicholas, Mark N, at ManhattanBeachStudios.net. There he is, big thumbs up right there. Kind of the Bill Clinton thumbs up, you know, a little like that, like, hey, how you doing? So anyway, there it is. It's the Bill Clinton thumbs up. All right. So again, Mark Nicholas, Mark M, ManhattanBeachStudios.net for all your editing desires, photos, videos, everything you want. All right. So my guest, Justin Renfro. Justin leads growth and operations at WeFunder.com an investment platform helping entrepreneurs raise capital. WeFunder has a global audience of investors and makes it easy for founders to raise capital from both accredited and unaccredited investors. Justin enjoys working in collaboration with founders to help them find the best avenues for capital raises. A LinkedIn post today, so far in the history of WeFunder, 230 million raised across 1,400 founders with 900,000 investors banked on WeFunder. Justin, how's it going, my man? Booyah, Kasha. What's up, brother? I'm so <laughs> stoked to be here. Love it, man. We're stoked to have you, dude. It's a long time coming, dude. So thank you for being part of our show. You're actually the first expert on crowdfunding that we've had on this platform. So um, awesome to have you, man. I'm honored. Thank you for having me. And there's a lot of people out there that are uh, looking for money. So this is going to be a very valuable, I would say invaluable, even better than valuable, invaluable uh, um, you know, show and information for entrepreneurs out there. So let's let's get into it because um, we only have about 15 minutes, a lot to unpack here. Let's go into WeFunder. Tell us about WeFunder. Tell us how it helps entrepreneurs. How do you get on there? Um, entrepreneurs that want to get on there, where, who do they contact? Tell us more about the platform and how we can raise money on WeFunder. Definitely. Uh you can just go sign up at wefunder.com. You know, we're designed to help uh, startups raise capital faster and easier. It's been uh, a really awesome um, kind of wave of interest over the past year, especially. Uh, you know, when COVID hit, I think entrepreneurs started to look for different avenues uh, that existed. And, uh, you know, with WeFunder, it just makes it, you know, it makes it easy to fundraise in the context that, all the investment contracts are manages. We kind of oversee all the compliance and SEC related stuff. Uh, and it makes it faster in that you can both fundraise from, you know, for a CPG brand, you can fundraise from your customers. You can fundraise from accredited and unaccredited investors. They can just go check out and invest and get equity in your company with a, with a credit card and a minimum of a hundred dollars. So really opens the doors to, uh, to de democratize capital, which is really our core mission. Uh, we actually just released our impact report today. You can check it out at wefunder.com backslash PVC. Uh, but, uh, you know, the real design is to open it up and uh, ha help founders kind of access new sources of capital and, and, and bring a, a new wave of investors into the mix. Uh, and uh, we're really proud of what we've accomplished to date. Uh, and it's super easy. You can go, you can go scope out what we're doing, the types of companies fundraising and, and get started directly on WeFunders uh, website. Awesome. And it's becoming, you know, there's a trend where it's becoming more and more popular to, uh, to raise online, right? Instead of going the traditional route, the VC route or raising from angel investors. And um, I also, you know, being, we were on WeFunder, by the way, um, about a year, a little over a year ago, we raised nearly half a million dollars. Justin was my guy. What I found amazing about it, I mean, you were so helpful through the entire process, is that uh, we not, not only did we raise the money, but we gained, um, we called investors, investors that became customers of our product. And those types of people are going to be more loyal to buying the product than anyone else, right? Because they've invested in the brand. 
So I guess tell us more about the experience of CPG brands, right? This is a more of a CPG show. What kind of CPG brands have you seen on WeFunder? What have they got out of it? And I guess a tough question, how likely is it for the campaign to be successful? How many are successful? How many kind of flop? Tell us more about how you guys help entrepreneurs be successful on this platform. Yeah, no doubt. Shameless plug for Genius Juice in my <laughs> fridge. Favorite CPG company of all time. I'm going to drink it while I answer this question. Alex is the man. Love it. Um, you know, you, you, you mentioned one important kind of piece, which is, hey, as you get new investors, they're going to be customers. Uh, on the flip side, you have a lot of customers and you're now converting them to investors. So you kind of get it on both ends, which I think is a really unique value proposition. Uh, the ability to kind of tell a compelling story and put it in front of your customer and have them buy equity in the company. Uh, how likely are they to keep buying your product and uh, to be, you know, that best cohort uh, of customer? Uh, I think it's a really unique and interesting opportunity for CPG companies uh, to really intensify uh, that that sense of community and that and that community of kind of ambassadors and uh, you know these are your best customers, they're the customers that are spending the most money. Uh, if you can engage them by getting them to invest. Uh, I think that's a, that's a really powerful opportunity. Uh, you know, what I think is really important is, you know, not every brand has, uh, has a soul and, uh, and, 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 and a connection to the customer. Uh, I think with what you do, Alex, uh, you know, that is very intentional. Uh, you're very good at it. And, uh, you know, there's an authenticity with who you are, how you portray the brand and, and, and your customer. And I think that was, uh, you know, that was a, a huge kind of driver of, of your success is that, uh, you know, that ability to tell a compelling story. Uh, the, you know, w we need to at some point cut to your campaign video, which everyone has to go watch. It is one of the best videos I've ever seen, not just the campaign videos, videos in general. Uh, but it's fun, it's lively, it really, it really connects with, with who you are and, and, and the brand that you built. Uh, and uh, you know, to be able to convert you know, people that resonate with that into the story, to tell that story and, and, and get them to buy in, uh, that's a powerful network to build. And, uh, you know, there's, there's value in VCs and angel investors and opening, you know, and, and kind of opening their connections and, uh, you know, giving strategic advice. Um, WeFunder is just a different type of value in that you're building a community and this community is super engaged and bought into to what you're building. So uh, I think for a CPG company to be successful, um, they should have an honest assessment. Is there a real connection between what I'm doing and, and my customers? Uh, can I tell a compelling story? And, um, you know, to what extent do I want this to be a, a part of who we are, you know, built from the community? And, and uh, it, does that connect with the core ethos of the brand? Um, I think CPG companies that have that are the ones that are the most successful. Exactly. And I think like you're mentioning about that, you know, connecting with the customer, connecting with the investor. Uh, Mark, can you uh, pull up WeFunder.com so that everyone that's watching this, you know, the thousands of views that we get, you know, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see it's time to save capitalism together. I could be like your voiceover for your website right here. Pablo Francisco. There you the go. Flash right here. Yeah. Yeah. Number two, man. I'm, I'm, I wish I was as good as him, but it's, it's amazing, like, you scroll on there, you see campaigns that have done not only hundreds of thousands, but millions, and they keep on rolling it and rolling it. There's one that I saw on there, Legion M, you know, for yeah. um, raising money for a kind of alternative. We can go into that's a whole other subject. But I think they're over 5 million now, right, or something really high, you know. So they yeah, actually, they've, ra they've yeah. raised just over 10 million. 10 and, million. You know, oh the, beauty, the beauty uh, of – you know, the SEC is uh, pushing out new regulations on March 15th, which increases the cap from 1 million to 5 million. So the, that, the fundamental kind of, you know, thought process around 
how to utilize WeFunder is shifting in that, hey, this is a base of capital that I can grow on, that I can grow with as my business grows. And we can do, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine rounds. And there's a $5 million runway with this. And, uh, you know, that's probably over a couple years. And it's, you know, it's a very intentional strategy. Uh, but I think it's very unique. And, you know, for CPG brands, if they can con consistently convert their customers into investors, that can be a flywheel of capital. And we, you know, we both know with CPG, you know, having having access to capital is really, really important. Yeah, I mean, that's what I loved about, again, for the for the entrepreneurs out there, the founders, the owners, when we were on WeFunder, it was it was something called a rolling close. So we were we raised almost half a million in total, which is ironic because that was the same amount that we got an offer on Shark Tank where the deal actually fell through. It was like literally half a million and we went and flipped it to WeFunder and raised it online. So just ironic, it was almost the same amount that Cuban and Corcoran offered us. But essentially we got to take money out on a rolling close. And that's what I love about the platform is you could be raising ongoing, like Justin said, for six months, you know, three months, six months, nine months, a year, two years, like Legion M and all these big brands that are on there and you can continually, continually take money out. So I, I, I really love that. So let's, yeah. uh, let's, let's shift gears to about you. Cause we have a few minutes left. Tell us about, cause this is an interesting kind of just character story. You're a dude in San Diego, right? You're living the life out there. You're way more tan than I will ever be. Um, which, <laughs> you know, on the spectrum, I like the sunshine. Yeah, on the spectrum, yeah. I'm here. You're like here, you know. Um, I only go outside yeah. really to get mail, and then I go back inside. You know, I'm like, yeah, the sun. Oh my god. So, but anyway, I'm a night. I'm a um, night crawler, um, kind of. So, tell us about your life. Your life on a boat. Your life on a boat. You yeah. like to ride boats. You have a business with boats. Tell us more about that story. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I was helping entrepreneurs raise capital in a nonprofit called Kiva. Um, I, I launched uh, the Kiva program in the US, a uh, huge nonprofit doing, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars in microloans all over the world. Talked to an entrepreneur and he was like, yeah, I quit my job and moved to Florida, bought a boat and started running boat charters. And I was like, man, why not me? I had no boating experience, but I sat on it for a really long time. And I just thought it would be an epic life experience to, you know, I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I didn't, you know, this seemed fun and cool to be out on boats all the time and, uh, you know, spent two years building it up. And then now I've got this armada of a bunch of boats and it's super fun. It's chillcharters.com if you want to check it out. Uh, it's it's chill, a real chill fun charters, side hustle. And... Chill, chillcharters.com, you said? Okay, I love the yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love the name. Bringing cool. bringing the good vibes, Alex. You know, I love the sun. I love being out on the water. Uh, you know, there's something special about being out on a boat. You're not you're not checking your cell phone. You're really living in the moment, and that was uh, that was a huge draw for me. You know, like it's it's really uh, you know curating really memorable experiences. Uh, you know, out on the water, and uh, you know, I, I love it. It's a it's a really fun it's a really fun gig, and I learned a lot building it, and I'm really proud of it. Cool. So this is actually where someone can go on chill charters. They can, they can schedule a boat trip with you. You're the captain on the boat drinking genius juice, um, or mixing it with some yeah. other stuff. And so, and then they yeah. can get on the boat. You drive them around the Harbor in like San Diego or where do you go? Yeah. So I've, uh, hired out a network of captains that do most of the chartering for me now. Uh, you know, but, uh, we have the, just an epic cast of characters that uh that are that are kind of working with me on this nice, uh nice. the 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 bread and butter is go out 45 minute cruise throw the anchor down get the tubes out party in the water cruise back three four hours you're loving life and uh it's very oriented around just like we're going to anchor, we're going to party, we're going to have a good time, we're going to listen to good music, we're going to have drinks, we're going to, you know, we're just going to, we're going to live it up. I love it. I love it. We all need a party on a boat every once in a while. We just need that, right? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Love it. So <laughs> let's circle back to WeFunder, okay? Because I have a lot of, there's entrepreneurs that are trying to get a hold of WeFunder. I know you guys, I think, do you guys have a waiting list right now. I mean, if someone wants to raise on WeFunder, there's a vetting process, not just anyone can get onto WeFunder. How does your vetting process work? Tell us like for a minute or two, 
How easy is it to get on there? What is the process? Is there a waiting list to get on and start raising money? Tell us more. Yeah, so uh, the new regulations start on March 15th, uh, and it's going to fundamentally shift how uh, how founders can utilize WeFunder. Previously to March 15th, you, you know, there was a host of paperwork filing the Form C, you know, you needed re reviewed financials, the legal contract, all these legal disclosure pieces. Um, and, and you had to have all of that completely finished before you started to fundraise. Now you can do that in parallel. So you don't need these financials before you start a fundraise. So you can literally go to the WeFunder website, create a campaign page and start invi in inviting investors from your community uh, in to, to invest in your company. And uh, if you find that there's demand and you're getting momentum, uh, we'll, we'll come in work in parallel as we figure out all of the financials and making sure that everything's square we're compliant uh with the sec and then we're off to the races uh you know uh it's 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 going to be amazingly simplified uh and allow anybody to go start a campaign um you know for us we look at social proof more than anything uh when it comes to underwriting uh if you can bring in fifty thousand dollars of investments uh, that to us is a signal that this is a serious, uh, this is a serious deal and we're going to, we're going to, you know, rally around it. Obviously, you know, we can't support, um, escort, uh, escort companies or, uh, you know, there are certain industries that we can't work with, but right, right. for the most part, we really aspire to be a democratic platform. Anybody can go raise capital. If you're, if you're successful in raising capital, we're going to, we're going to help you do it. Uh, and, uh, you know, for us, there's a $50,000 minimum. So, you know, once you raise that $50,000, uh, from, from your network, we'll come in, support all of the, uh, financial and legal pieces. And then we will, uh, you know, we'll, we'll launch you out to the world. Uh, so it's, uh, it's something we're extre extremely excited about. We think it's really going to open the doors of opportunity for anybody to come in and prove that, you know, there's a demand and there's a community and people, people want to invest in this thing. That's what we want to encourage. So, uh, I actually don't like the concept of us being gatekeepers. I think that if you have real money in your community behind you, uh, you know, and it's legal, uh, and it's a deal that we can do, um, you know, we want to do the deal. Next program we're going to do right now is called Rapid Fire Questions. Let's go. Rapid Fire Questions. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> bunch of questions, bunch of answers. That was a long applause. <laughs> he hasn't done anything yet, Mark, and you're applauding him this much? Come on. He hasn't even answered anything yet. You All know right. I'm coming with the fire, Alex. I know, man. These people are clapping for you, and you have done – it's like you're – it's like you're you know, Sting coming out on stage. You've, you haven't said anything yet, but everyone's freaking clapping. That's that's the amount of power you have. It. I'll take it. All I'll right, here we go. It. So here's the questions. Here we go. Just answer what comes uh, to the top of your uh, tip of your head, tip of your brain, whatever that, that phrase is. In sync yeah. or Backstreet Boys? In sync. I'm a big JT guy. He's the man. Nice. First thing you do when you wake up? Uh, I take my dog outside on a long walk. Nice. Movie you can watch an unlimited amount of times. My favorite movie of all time. Ooh, I love. I just love all Quentin Tarantino movies. They're all awesome. Right now, I could continue to watch literally any of his movies. Uh, they they all they all hit the mark. Yeah, Kill Bill. Right, that's my favorite from him by far. <laughs> Song you can listen to an unlimited amount of times. <clears throat> Uh, Let It Be by the Beatles. Love that. <clears throat> Favorite sport to watch? Uh, I'm a massive Los Angeles Clippers fan. I try and watch every game. Uh, die hard. Uh, die hard Clippers fan. And uh, a close second come the Los Angeles Dodgers. Nice. And a Clipper is a boat, for those that don't know. So that makes perfect sense right there. Too much sense. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom. Yeah, Microsoft yeah. Teams or Google Meet, which platform do you like the most or do you hate the least? Google. Uh, I like Google Meet because it just automatically connects every time I book a, a meeting. It's so convenient. There you go. Google Calendar. What is your spirit animal? Uh, I, I love harbor seals. Everything's going back to boats here. Clippers, harbor <laughs> seals. <laughs> window window <laughs> seat. Yeah. Life on a boat. Window seat or aisle seat on an airplane? 
window seat because I like to take a nap on on the wall and right. have the view, especially flying into San Diego, which has the coolest view out the window, uh, flying right in through the through the heart of downtown. Love it. Peanut butter or almond butter or neither. I really dislike almond butter. It's probably one of my least favorite, uh, like cabinet foods. Okay, that's uh, big this, peanut butter guy. The big peanut butter. Okay, let's go with that. Omnivore, flexitarian, <laughs> vegetarian, or vegan? I'm gonna go vegan because I love you, Alex. I know you're a vegan. <laughs> I know you rep it hard, and I'm gonna rep it hard with you. So, vegan is definitely the way of the world. I'm not a vegan, but I, that's what I would rep if I had to pick a team. Nice. Vegans unite, man. Let's do a vegan protest, man. Cold weather or oh, yeah. hot weather? I, I think uh, what do you think? I'm going to skip that question because it's so obvious. LeBron James <laughs> or MJ? Uh, oh. MJ. I grew yeah. up in Chicago in the 90s. There you go. Dude. Come on, that goes without saying. Ginger or yeah. turmeric? Ooh, uh, I like ginger. Uh, ginger's a really nice thing to put in cocktails. Love it. All right, favorite food or drink if you're stuck on a deserted island and you cannot say Genius Juice. Sorry. <laughs> I need to say Genius Juice. Uh, I would probably, I'd probably pick my Soda Stream because I drink that like way too much. I'm, a, I'm kind of addicted to Soda Stream sparkling water. Nice shout out, Soda Stream. Hopefully, hopefully they send you a free, you know, model or kit. <laughs> All right, so that I'm is. I'm gonna be famous now. <laughs> I, I'm yeah. on 15 minutes of genius. <laughs> I've made it. I feel like I feel like I'm peaking at this moment. Pinnacle of your career, right here, man, right here. <laughs> All right, so uh, thank you. Rapid fire questions with Justin Renfro with We Funder. He is the man, the myth, the legend, the guy, the boater, the captain. I can come up with even more pseudonyms, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna blow everyone's mind. So, all right, so uh, if anyone wants to get a hold of you. To launch their campaign on WeFunder, what is your email? What's uh, the best way to contact you? Yeah, uh, my email is justin at wefunder.com. Uh, if you're a CPG company, I've got a, I've got a really good friend on my team that uh, is kind of leading the charge with CPG. So I'll get you connected to him and he'll, he'll make sure you have an awesome campaign. That's his big focus. And uh, we're really excited to, to, you know, to, to double down on this industry and, 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 and make it happen. We see, we see a lot of value, uh, you know, in that vertical. Love it. We fund our team is great too. Just a big shout out to Johnny, you, you know, everyone else that we worked with to make our campaign successful, many others successful. You guys, I love you guys. Love you. You guys are awesome. So thank you. For sure. For Thanks for joining us, Justin, episode 49 and, uh, have a wonderful night and, uh, I'll see you, uh, coasting to the sunset at some point. Yeah, brother. Thank you for having me. I had an absolute blast. You're the best. Cheers, awesome, homie. man. Enjoy genius. All right, man. Best, even uh, even good to the last drop, genius juice. As you could see, Justin drinking it. All right, so that's episode 49, 15 minutes of genius. Uh, my boy, Justin Renfro, WeFunder. Make sure to get on there if you want to raise money. It's a great new way. It is the future of raising capital and democratizing. I can't say it enough. It's a great route. So a uh, big plug again to Mark Nicholas, Mark Studios.net for all your editing desires. And uh, one last thing, stay capitalized and genius, my friends. Genius for life. Coconut smoothies coming at you.